All right, just want to do a quick mic check again. Can you guys hear me all right? We're going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully you all are here for the uh, introducing Dynamics 365 layout, formerly known as Microsoft Layout. Many of you probably signed up for introducing Microsoft Layout. We'll talk about the name change a little bit. My name is Gene Blatchford. I'm a product marketing manager at Microsoft. I've been here for about five years. And I have to say that this is by far the most exciting industry and product I've ever had the opportunity to work on. I hope that you'll walk away feeling as excited and educated as myself. And so, um, because we only have 20 minutes, we've got a jam-packed agenda. Let's see if this advances here. I'd ask that if you guys have questions, let's hang on to them till the end, and hopefully we can buzz through everything and um, address the questions along the way. A uh, quick glance at the agenda. Because Dynamics 365 Layout is a mixed reality business application, I want to do a quick 101 on what is mixed reality. Next, I'm going to touch, touch on why does Microsoft care about mixed reality? You know, we, we, we talked about it last year, didn't really talk about what the path forward is, but um, thought it'd be good to do a quick 100 level overview of what, like, why do we care about mixed reality and ultimately what does that mean for you as Microsoft customers, partners, and everything in between. The next thing we'll talk about is um, just the product itself, Dynamics 265 Layout. Uh, we'll do a, a quick 100, 200 level overview. If you're interested in learning more, we also have a workshop that's going on right now too that's more on the technical deployment guidelines for Dynamics 265 Layout. Um, and we'll talk about, wait, what? What happened to the name change? You guys all probably signed up for Microsoft Layout. We're going to talk a little bit more about what it means as a Dynamics product and how it impacts you in a positive way. Um, and then we'll just talk about what's next. We'll conclude and just talk about what you can do to get started, what you can learn to do to learn more about the product. So with that, by quick show of hands, how many of you attended Ignite last year? Okay, so a pretty good handful. Um, for those of you who didn't attend, our CEO Satya Nadella came on stage and talked about three bold bets that Microsoft would be making with technology. Those bold bets included mixed reality, quantum computing, and artificial intelligence. Uh, I won't talk about AI and quantum today because I don't know very much about them and that's not my expertise, but um, again, because Dynamics 365 Layout is a mixed reality product, I thought it'd be good to I'll talk a little bit more about what mixed reality is and what it means for you all. So most of you probably have experienced physical reality before. I'd be a little bit worried if you haven't. Um, this is the things that you experience every day um, from touch, sight, sound, with your five senses. This is your physical reality. It should be pretty much no-brainer. Also, given that this is an enterprise IT conference, you already are all, are all familiar with what a digital reality is as well, too. This is what you traditionally experience through 2D computing, um, through your computers, networks, um, all that kind of stuff shouldn't be um, confusing to you at all. At Microsoft, we consider the blending of the physical and digital realities to be mixed reality. And so you've probably seen different sides of the spectrum. On one side, the, you hear the industry call AR. The other side, you see the industry calling it VR. Um, AR meaning augmented reality, which is where your computers and um, digital technology enhances the world around you. How many of you all have played Pokemon Go or have used Snapchat filters before? Probably hand I'm not going to judge you. I, I still play as well, too. Um, and then on the other side of the spectrum, you probably experience different forms of HMDs or head-mounted displays, um, whether that's Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. You've probably all seen different sides of the spectrum. Again, Microsoft, we classify that spectrum as mixed reality. And we've got various different products, experiences, and programs that kind of fall in different areas across that spectrum. You can see different forms in this GIF here. Uh, all right, uh, quick show of hands. How many of you have tried a HoloLens before, a Microsoft HoloLens? What about any form of AR or VR before? Anyone try like an Oculus Rift before or HTC Vive? All right, pretty good numbers. Um, at Microsoft, so again, you've probably experienced different forms from you've got mobile VR, so whether you use um, the Google Daydream, um, there's all sorts of different forms and flair, flavors of um, AR, VR, and MR that exist in this world. Um, and it sounds like many of you have already experienced through HoloLens or through our uh, Windows Mixed Reality headset. So um, if you're not familiar with HoloLens, that is Microsoft's, uh, and actually the world's first, um, fully untethered holographic computing device. Uh, if you haven't tried one out, we are actually doing demos of HoloLens over here as well as the applications. And on the other side of the spectrum, more the VR side, we have our Windows Mixed Reality headsets. These are um, full VR-esque headsets that are actually powered by a computer, so it's tethered into a Windows Ultra PC. But well, you're probably still wondering, why does Microsoft care about mixed reality? Why did you make an investment in this space? I mean, for most parts, outside of holograms you've seen on Star Trek or Star Wars, it doesn't really make sense to you. What's the value that we see there? 
So across the company, we started to notice that um, we're doing a great job with enterprise IT workers. We've done a great job winning with the platform and infrastructure play. But there's a, a, a huge audience, um, 2.6 billion um, service workers, what we call first line workers, that aren't being met by our traditional technology. Um, these are your field service techno technicians, um, these are your skilled um, construction managers, your factory workers, and even like professors, doctors, people who are working with their hands on a day to day basis that aren't dependent on Microsoft technology. But what we found is that they found a ton of value and they're able to be uh, more productive and see value in using mixed reality. In fact, this is what we learned. So in the first couple of years of HoloLens being in market, we've noticed a, a trend within several different industries across healthcare, manufacturing, AEC, so architecture, engineering, construction, um, energy, education, government, usually airing on the side of um, defense, um, where we've seen a ton of interest in using mixed, re mixed reality to empower first line workers. Um, in addition, there was five key use case scenarios, um, remote collaboration, spatial design and planning, training and development. Uh, oftentimes we see simulation in there as well too, used by um, defense, um, design and prototyping and IoT data access. So there's all these trends, all this interest, all this momentum that we're starting to see with mixed reality in these first line worker scenarios in these core industries. But one of the challenges that we saw was that there wasn't a ton of out-of-the-box usability for these first-line workers. Um, you may have seen examples of like Ford using HoloLens for design or ThyssenKrupp using um, you know, HoloLens for their field service technicians, but these are all custom-built applications. And so companies will invest a ton of money, a ton of time, and a ton of energy to create some really, really um, awesome designs. But for those first-line workers who have never, you know, they don't have the software development skills and they don't really have the time and energy to build a, a out-of-the-box usable experience, it didn't really make sense for them. There weren't a ton of out-of-the-box um, applications. And so that's why we said, uh, Microsoft, we really need to invest in um, some software that will help empower all first-line workers across the, um, the spectrum using mixed reality. And so we invested in two apps, and you'll start to see more start to come out in there here in the future. The first app being Dynamics 365 Remote Assist and the second one being Dynamics 365 Layout, and that's the one we'll talk about today. Um, again, um, as we continue to invest in this space, we'll start to hear about more applications and more experiences that will um, empower first-line workers across all these different scenarios. So, Dynamics 365 Layout, what you've all come to see. It is our first um, mixed reality business application that helps our users move from concept to completion with confidence. How do you guys like that alliteration? Pretty good, right? Okay, so um, what we wanted to make sure when we built this product, we captured three promises, three kind of principles. The first promise was we wanted to make sure that our users that are using this for spatial design and planning can really experience room layouts and real world scale. So if you've used VR before, if you've used, uh, or if you've used AR before, oftentimes the experience won't actually map to the context that's most meaningful for you. That's kind of the promise behind mixed realities. We want to make sure that the people, places, and things are more accessible to you and more meaningful to you. So again, with um, Dynamics 365 layout, we want to make sure this product could um, map to the context and the space that matter to you the most. Second, we also want to make sure that you can edit physical design, designs um, easily. So um, it's not just a stagnant hologram that you'll see in your space around you. It's actually a product that you can move, manipulate, resize, rotate, reshape. So it's actually really meaningful to the space around you. And finally, as I had alluded um, to before earlier, we want to ultimately take away the inhibiting factors that we're slowing down people who are working on a 2D screen with 3D assets. And so I'm going to show you a video that will actually uh, make this look a lot cooler than me just talking about it. So um, here is Dynamics 365 Layout. Across all industries, transformation is key to growth. And designing new spaces involves detailed planning, if you aren't prepared, the smallest oversight can cause costly delays. With Layout, you can plan your space, collaborate with others, and experience your designs with confidence in mixed reality before you build with an immersive experience. Visualize your layout in 3D. Try new ideas and iterate quickly. But even with the most detailed planning, the real world can present unexpected challenges that require creative problem solving. With HoloLens, you can work with high quality 3D holograms integrated into your space. With Layout, you have the tools you need to design and review in context and find new solutions that give you confidence before you commit.
transform your layout in moments with precision and speed. Share your designs with others. Do you have time to take a look at this floor plan? All right, let's have a look. And save time by making decisions together. Great, thanks for the quick work. With Layout, you can design faster, share your work with others, and experience your designs in mixed reality, so you can break new ground with confidence. What do you think, pretty cool? Yeah? All right, awesome. Definitely better than me just talking about it. I do want to reiterate on some of the features that you saw mentioned in um, the video. Um, so obviously, uh, Dynamics 365 layout works across both the Microsoft HoloLens as well as Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So you can have both of that more AR-like experience as well as kind of the VR-like experience as well too that's more immersive and occluded. There is value in both experiences. Um, um, the layout experience also, um, as you saw, uh, allows for a spatial mapping of floors, walls, and ceilings. Um, especially if you're using HoloLens, you can actually map the space around you. So again, it really kind of applies to the context that's most meaningful to you. Um, it does come preloaded with 3D assets and models, so um, you know, there is value in you adding probably your own custom assets uh, and own custom models, but um, if you just want to use what's already preloaded on the experience, there are um, 3D models um, ready to go and available. My guess is that all of you are going to see value in adding your own custom assets, though. Uh, as I mentioned before earlier, you can drag, drop, resize, rotate, um, and really manipulate the most of the 3D holograms while they're in that space around you. And you can select individual as well as multiple assets um, at the same time. Um, it also is integrated with enterprise level um, identity and AD security, so you've got the single sign-on authentication. This really mattered for our customers. Um, we had a, heard a lot of feedback early on that it was important to integrate with the um, enterprise security um, and um, applications that they were using today. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, you can also import 3D models. Uh, many of you are working for companies or institutions where you have 3D assets, so that it's really important for you to make sure that those map to the space around you um, versus just a generic um, um, 3D model or assets. Um, you probably also saw in the video, too, that you can import custom models. How many of you are using Visio today? Any Visio users by chance? Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Um, so if you have floor plans mapped out in Visio, you can actually pull those floor pl plans into uh, Dynamics 365 layout. You don't have to redo them. You don't have to recustomize them. So uh, we heard from uh, users early on that that was very, very important that I could actually just integrate um, uh, Microsoft Visio and the floor plans that I have today with the space around me. Um, and then as you saw, you, there's a little cameo appearance of uh, Dynamics 365 Remote Assist, another one of the uh, experiences you can demo over here afterwards. Um, so you can actually work concurrently across both applications. So you've got Remote Assist, you can call in an expert to see the space around you and see the holograms around you and give you feedback and say, actually, no, that robotic arm isn't supposed to do that or it's not supposed to be there. Um, so you can really see these applications work together to add the most value to the users that are, are, um, are collaborating on it. Um, there are a few technical requirements I do want to call out. Again, if you find this interesting and you want to learn more, we are running a technical deployment workshop actually right now. I have to find out which room it's in. Um, you do need a, a HoloLens or a Windows Mixed Reality headset. If you are going to use the WMR experience, you need the, um, uh, the motion controllers as well as an Ultra PC for, um, to, uh, com to work compatibly. Um, you need a Dynamics 365 layout license as well as an, a um, an Azure Active Directory account. Um, some of the additional features, um, you aren't required to use our import tool, but if you do want to have um, custom assets imported, there's a Dynamics 365 import tool um, application that you can use alongside uh, Layout. Um, again, uh, sounds like there's a lot of Visio users here. Again, if you want to use um, some of those floor plans, import them in. Um, you need to have a Visio license. Obviously, that should be a no-brainer for you all. And if you want to use the collaboration features of uh, Remote Assist, you also have to, um, to have a Remote Assist license as well as Teams license. So with that, I do want to also touch on, uh, I had mentioned before, and as you probably all signed up for, um, this is an introduction to Microsoft Layout. Probably wondering what, what happened with the name change there, and why is this Dynamics 365 Layout now? So mixed reality, the next generation of um, intelligent computing requires massive amount of data and insights to be truly meaningful to our users, um, and to really embody the, the vision and the mission behind more personal computing which aligns extremely well with um, the mission behind Dynamics to create more modern, unified, intelligent, and adaptable experiences. 
So what does that all mean? Um, what that means for you moving forward is that there's going to be more ways to and, um, apply data across Dynamics, um, as well as have integration with Dynamics tools, programs, and products. It will be infused with mixed reality. And then vice versa as well, too. Now you've got a computing device on your head that's able to pull in much more input and to, uh, make, make, make much more sense of the space around you. And that's going to be converted into data that's more meaningful to you. So expect more from us. Expect more exciting news around Dynamics 365 integration with um, mixed reality. So what's next? Um, if you haven't already, I guess by show of hands, how many have actually uh, demoed D Dynamics 365 layout before? All right. Oh, man. You guys have to go over here. Try it out. Thanks, Catherine. Yeah, so there's a, um, a great demo experience here. You have to try both layout as well as remote assist. Um, truly transformative. Um, the video only does so much justice for it, but strongly recommend that you can't really try mixed reality without actually putting it on your head and experiencing it. Um, the next one, um, this link goes actually live um, next week. Um, if you're interested in learning more, um, you can also download it at your own institution at aka.ms aka um, backslash um, get layout. We also have a web page on dynamics365.com where you can learn more. Um, I also recommend try remote assist. I think I made a pretty big plug on that. Both the applications working concurrently is pretty awesome. Um, I'll be sticking around afterwards if you have any questions. You can also email me. Um, I want to make sure that you feel, uh, walk away feeling confident and comfortable knowing um, that you've got answers to the questions here. Um, last, I just want to close by saying thank you. You guys have been an awesome audience. If you enjoyed the presentation, my name is Gene Blatchford. Um, give me feedback. Help me improve. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the presentation, my name is Stuart. Um, and uh, don't give me feedback. I'm just kidding. But I uh, really appreciate the time. Would love any feedback you have um, through the survey. Uh, and thanks a lot. I'll be sticking around afterwards.